Should every video have a script? A lot of creators opt out of writing a video script because they think it'll come across as too rehearsed or obvious that they're reading from a teleprompter. But today I want to show you that not only are scripts vitally important, but they can help you feel more natural and authentic in the filming process. But before we jump in, if you want to drive even more impact and profit through video for your business, check out the link below to join my next 21 Days to Infinite Video Impact Challenge. And by the way, I put up videos like this on my channel every single week to help you in your video marketing strategy so that you can connect with your audience and scale your audience in ROI. It is so important to at least have a script structure or an outline in place so that you can get your message across clearly, ensure that you're noting your lead magnets or calls to action in the right places, and that you're explaining each point thoroughly. This also reduces the possibility of forgetting an important point or, or getting camera shyness. So if you're worried about appearing as though you're reading a script, make a bullet point outline of your script so that you can at least have a rough idea of the video structure while also maybe riffing on particular points. When we work with clients, we can do this in a few different ways. Number one, sure, we can write out the entire script, have it on a teleprompter and have them read it out word for word. This is helpful for them, especially if they're worried about tripping up or not saying the right thing or forgetting an important point. Another thing we can do is outline, just have bullet points of things they want to speak to, and we put it like on a whiteboard behind the camera so that maybe between sentences or sections of the video, they can stop, look at the whiteboard, and then continue from there. Lastly, the other thing that we do is we'll have a question-based outline and have someone behind the camera that's like an interviewer or a close friend. You can do this with you know, your spouse or a friend or your kids that they can ask you the questions to pull that message out of you. And then it can be really conversational and like a, like just a, a fun conversation between you and the person on the other side of the camera. That's another really important part that when you're talking to the camera, for you to sound natural and, and like it's just easy is to remember that you're not just talking to this inanimate object. It's not just a piece of metal and plastic with that red intimidating flashing light. This is a person that you're talking to. Every time I turn on the camera and I'm sharing my message, even this video, I think about who needs to hear this? Who do I want to talk to through this video? Is it one of my best students? Is it a mentor that I, that I want to share this information with and hopefully impress them with this information? Is it my best friend that I want to be silly and goofy and fun with and, and caring and compassionate with? That's what I want you to think about every time you turn on the camera is what value am I giving here? What is, what's the information that I need to convey? But then also what's the, um, the emotion and the message that I want to convey and what kind of heartfelt or real personality am I going to show that with? Even if you're reading a script, when you're talking about something that you're passionate about, something that lights you up, this might come really natural to you. Like if you're talking about something that you're an expert in or something that aligns nicely with your offers, your lead magnets, that's going to be something that, you know, you could talk about this in your sleep, talk about this all day, every day. So let that come through you as your expertise, not that you're, you know, a robot talking to a piece of metal and plastic. Before I started my business, I used to work in radio and we used to do these voiceovers for the radio commercials. So when I would go into the voiceover booth, they'd give me a script and I would have to read the commercial for, I mean, it could have been a anything, a car wash. And I'd read the script and one of the first times that I ever did voiceover work, the producer on the other side of the booth said, I want you to overperform. If you want to, if your audience needs to hear you at a 10, you need to be performing at a 12. So it's almost like, you know how they say the camera adds 10 pounds? It also reduces the level of enthusiasm on camera. So it might feel like you're overperforming, but it really comes across as enthusiastic and happy if you're trying to get that message across to your audience. So that's also something to keep in mind that for you to come across as natural and real to your audience, it also requires you to tap into what is the emotion that I'm trying to convey here and how can I perform that in a way that really comes across on camera? Sometimes that might mean overperforming. I know that sounds a little bit of a contradiction to say overperform to seem natural, but I really want you to tap into what is the emotion I'm trying to convey and how can I really bring that out of me, not just in my words, but in the feeling. To do that, I'll also recommend you do something to get into state before that camera turns on. Whether that's listening to some music, Beyonce is definitely on my playlist. Whether that means calling up a friend and having a fun conversation before you film, or maybe you're going outside or something that really that fills you up, feeds your spirit, and gets you pumped up before you hit record. Believe it or not, having at least an outline of a script can make all the difference in terms of a powerful video, and one that comes across as natural and easy to connect with. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you writing scripts for your videos? Are you doing an outline? Are you having someone ask you questions? If you're looking to learn to drive even more impact and profit through your videos, be sure to check out the link below to join my 21 days to infinite video impact challenge. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe for more weekly videos.